Wish I had realized the smaller tool was better. You know what's really ice cold about this? <laughs> it took me 30 minutes of learning how to use the larger tool and getting like no waves. And I should have been using the smaller tool for these waves. That's 30 minutes I'm never gonna get back. What's up you guys? It has been about a week and a half and I know I haven't posted a new video for a while, but I finally got my new phone so there's no more terrible ugly glare, halo glare um, off my filming footage. And I did unfortunately lose, ugh, devastating, I did unfortunately lose um, a lot of the footage that I did from the um, Pretty Little Thing and House of CB try on. But the good news is I just got, you guessed it, my Dyson Airwrap. So um, as you guys know, for I've been wanting it for a few months. Um, saw some really, really good um, air wrap videos. I haven't gotten the flat iron. I'm not there yet, but I did get the air wrap. And oh, Cash is joining us for this uh, for this filming. Anyway, I am really excited to try it out for you guys. I did already unbox it and open it, so I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Um, and I actually have already used one tool. Um, I used the Firm Smoothing Brush, which worked amazingly. As you guys know, I have thick, medium length hair um, that I'm still growing out and it usually takes me about an hour to do my hair on its own. Um, that means drying it and styling it. Uh, actually, even when I go and get a blowout, it usually takes the stylist about an hour, uh, but just by quickly sectioning off my hair and using the firm smoothing um, attachment, my most of the hair on my head was dry, smooth and straight in like 15 minutes, which for me, is amazing. I feel like I can live my life again. So I'm excited to show it to you guys um, and show you doing my hair just in time for Mother's Day. Um, as you can see, my hair is already in an oily bun. I have conditioned it um, using black seed oil um, crushed up. I will put a link to that um, down in the description box below. I am not necessarily using it for growth purposes. I'm just using it for extra conditioning, you know, during this time that we're still sheltering at home safely. My hair, I feel like on the ends has been a little bit dry, but um, with the oil has had a good, has had a positive effect on my hair. I don't know that it's growing longer. I think, you know, obviously it'll take a few months to see any effect from that, but I like it and I don't mind how it smells. So. As I said, there's not really an unboxing portion um, of this because I already opened it and I've already used it once. I couldn't wait. Um, so the firm smoothing tool I was talking about is this one, um, which you can see it doesn't have the pink bristles on it. Um, this just, I think, is actually really effective if you are a woman that has, you know, thick, thicker um, hair or you would just have a lot of hair. You don't have to section your hair off um, as much. I just did like three separate sections and then blew it dry at the top um, at the crown and it was fairly smooth and straight. Like obviously also adjust your expectations. It's not a flat iron so it's not going to look bone straight um, if that's the effect you're going for but it will be it will look blown out. Here is the tool. I love it. Like I truly do. I got the nickel and fuchsia um, and I love it. And it's a little loud. I have it plugged in. Just kidding. I don't have it plugged in, but I will test it for you guys. Once I show you the rest of the box, the filter is down here. Um, and on here, you can see the control panel. So this is the on button and the cool shot. And then here's where you adjust the temperature. Super easy, cool. Um, medium and then high and then the same thing for the fan low medium high and I also use this is a trick I learned from Tati Westbrook um, I also use the rough dryer which is kind of like the blow dryer um, I use the rough dryer also to like set my makeup or if I spray my face with witch hazel like it helps to just set um, it helps anything that I put on my face any serums any moisturizers to just dry down um, faster so 
this is it. I love it. And I will also show you guys the rest of the box. I got the complete set. So I have four curling barrels um, and the lighter smoothing attachment and then also the round brush. So hold please. Gotta love magical video editing. So here is the whole box. Um, it comes in this beautiful leather case, which I'm aware this tool has been out since 2018, but it's 2020 and I just got it. So it's new to me. And so anyone that has, um, my hair length or, um, my hair texture can also, you know, weigh in and have, what about my hair? It's a little bit wavy. It's kind of coarse. It's thick. It's long, etc. Um, this is who that video is for. So it has like a magnet, a magnetic clasp on the front, which I love, of course. Um, for the price tag though, can't expect any less from Dyson. Um, and then when you open the top, it's velvet inside, and then it has this leather pad um, as well, which I think is for you to put down on your vanity so you can rest it on here while you're using it. Um, it also has all of the video directions, so, if I were somebody that was opening this for the first time and hadn't been watching YouTube videos on it and hadn't been on the Dyson website, literally stalking it, watching all the videos of how to use it, how to style your hair, all the different hairstyles, types of women they used it on, that would be one thing, but I'm glad they still provide a guide. And then there's a separator here as well, like just protecting the rest of the tools. So this bottom portion is where the wand um, goes, which I already showed you guys I took out. And then here are the four curling barrels. So these are the 1.6 and these are the 1.2, smaller curls, um, larger waves. And then this is the, um, the lighter uh, hair attachment. Actually, is this the heavy one? Yeah, no, I think this is the lighter smoothing um, attachment. At least that was what I saw in the video. I will double check for you guys. I still have all the paper in here. Um, I bought this shipped directly from Dyson. So anybody wondering, I got it from Dyson Direct. And when I randomly, not randomly, because I've been watching it for a while, I got lucky and they also had a $100 off uh, manufacturer's coupon. So I just did everything at the same time. But it's still, I still spent about $480. Um, they waived shipping, but with taxes and everything, it still was almost $500 for the complete set. So just be aware. I am by no means encouraging people to go out and buy a $500 hair tool at all. That's not my aim. My aim is this is something I've wanted for a while. I was going to purchase it whether or not the quarantine was going to be going on. And it was just already part of my personal plans. But at the very least, if you're interested or you're someone that's looking at it that might want to invest in it as we buy curling irons, blow dryers, and flat irons for 250 bucks a piece, this might make more sense because you're getting like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, basically six tools in one, you know, and almost basically it's a rough dryer, but it's almost a blow dryer. The motor is very powerful. Um, so anyway, and then here's the last one. This is the round brush attachment for that really um, blown out look. Again, still in the paper. I love it. Um, so anyway, so I am going to go ahead and wash the oil out. I, I've probably only had um, the oil on my hair for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, and that's what I use as a deep conditioner. So I'm just gonna wash it and dry it. I'm gonna shampoo and condition it the way I normally do. Um, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of heat protecting product. Um, and then after that, it's gonna be all the tool. So we'll see if on my hair texture, the Dyson Airwrap uh, stands up to scrutiny. So I am back, I'm all washed out. So I'm just gonna comb my hair. When I do the oil conditioning ahead of time, Honestly, especially with the black seed oil, I noticed that my hair is, it feels really clean without feeling stripped. So the key thing that I learned on the Dyson website and from watching all of the many Dyson hair care videos um, that came before mine uh, is that it's really important to make sure that you have your tool on the right heat setting and whichever one you're going to use, um, you make sure that you have it on the right, um, the right power setting and that you do a cool shot. So this is the 1.6 size. And as you can see, there are arrows all along the actual tool. And this is to show you 
which side of your head you use it for. So this side is pointing to the right. Um, so this is the tool that I would use on this side to make the waves go this way. And this one is for, as you can see, for the left um, so that the waves go this way. Now, that seems really complicated and I haven't used the wave barrels yet. I've only used, as I was telling you guys, I've only used the smoothing tool. So we're gonna learn together how to use the wave barrel. So we'll use the rough dryer, which is this little tool, the um, blow dryer type tool. And I was fooled. I mean, I watched other people's videos, but I was fooled. I thought that this was the side that the air comes out of. It isn't. It's this side. So make sure you have the right side facing toward you when you use it. And up here, you'll see this is the cool shot. I have this all the way down. Oops. I have this all the way down on cool, but I'm going to put it on medium. And then I have this on medium, but I'm going to put it on high. And it's a little loud, but it gives you an idea of um, what it sounds like. So let's do it. Okay, so you can see this is not completely dry. Um, and so I'm gonna remove the this head attachment, which just comes undone um, as long as you use the lock and unlock button. You can see this is part of where the motor is stored. So it's tiny, but it's powerful. Okay, this is the attachment for this side. Yeah. And this attachment is for this side. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, I think in the long, I think in the long scheme, it it probably matters less, you know, once you're learning to use it. But I want to make sure that my hair doesn't look, it doesn't like, it doesn't look crazy. So let's see, <laughs> let's see if I watched enough videos. Okay, because my hair is starting to, it's starting to get dry. And it does, don't get me wrong, it does feel warm, but it doesn't feel super hot. So I'm gonna bring this even closer to my root. Ooh. Ah. And then it says give it a cool shot. So I'm holding it up here. So I'm giving this a cool shot. And then release. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And obviously, like I'm going to comb my hair out afterwards because Shirley Temple curls are not the business on me. And I'm not, I'm not twisting the barrel at all. I'm just allowing it to attract the hair on based on the direction the air is running on this tool and then getting it closer to my root so it's actually drying my hair to look smooth. Oh, so now we're gonna do this side so I have to change the barrel. I just realized that. And it's slightly warm to the touch but it's not burning hot. Okay, loose wave, which is what I wanted. Okay, as you guys can see, I've got some really cool, like sexy loose waves um, on this side. Most of my hair is done. This hasn't been brushed out yet. I just have this little bun on top, which I will probably keep that way um, until tomorrow morning um, when I actually finish the rest of my hair because I know what'll happen is if I sleep on it, it'll just end up flat. Um, and the rest of the waves will have relaxed a lot. But as you can see, like, oh, I love it. Hey guys, good morning. So I discovered last night that 
using the 1.6 barrel uh, was a little too large for my hair to hold the wave uh, because it's so heavy, it just unraveled. So during the night, you can see this hair just looks really <laughs> kind of tired and just unwoven. So I am actually, I've actually switched to the smaller 1.2 barrel. So this is the smaller barrel. This is the larger one I used. Um, I do think the larger one is okay for the hair underneath because um, I didn't want my hair to get too big. But on top, um, you can see I kind of wet this section down a little this morning and then um, have given it a bit of a curl. I was afraid I was gonna have to go over it with the flat iron. Again, it doesn't get all the way into like my root, which is fine, um, but it does kind of, it gives a nicer wave away from the face. So what I'll do at the end, cause again, I've now slept on this. So this side is not done. This side, I just started doing the front. What I'll do is at the end, um, I'll just kind of smooth it out at the root um, and pull it forward so that it's not laying flat against my head. So 1.2 barrel for curls or waves that will hold. 1.6 if you really just want, 1.6 if you really just want like that slight bend. So I've already done my makeup and I'm wearing, um, this is actually a, this dress is actually Pretty Little Thing, um, which was part of the try-on. I had filmed, but is lost somewhere. Um, so at least I get to wear it today, so. Okay, so I went through with my flat iron um, and smoothed over a few of those areas that were a little bumpy from my natural waves. Um, and then I just put a little bit of like smoothing oil um, as these little waves like over here, these will kind of relax through the day. And of course, spray everything. What I wanted was like a loose and sexy wave. I think as long as you're happy with the results at the end, it is perfectly fine to take your time, play with the tool a little bit, explore all of the attachments and figure out which one works best for you. I, I definitely still will say, you know, again, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased the air app with my own money. Um, I do think it's still super expensive for what it is, but I don't regret buying it and I'm going to keep it. I'm, you know, I'm not going to return it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it. I do really like the wave attachments. I like the curling attachments and I like how my hair gets pretty close to the salon quality type look that I want um, without the time that I have to spend at the salon or the price uh, that it costs for a good blowout. And I, again, I love a good blowout. It doesn't mean I'm never gonna have another blowout again. It's just really nice to know that I can achieve this really cool wave um, at home, which I could never do. I've never been able to wave out like this. I could, and I also like, some people like the wrap wands. That has never worked for me. I've had burns, I, I've dropped, the wand on my forehead. I've dropped it like above my eye. I've burned my hands. Like those just haven't historically worked for me. So I'm really happy with this tool. I am gonna keep it. Well, I hope that was entertaining. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like, um, the thumbs up button below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be doing more videos like this. I am considering getting the Dyson Corral, but probably not right away. I love a flat iron. I'm pretty loyal to dry bars flat iron right now, but I don't know, this air wrap might have me feeling differently about their flat iron. So we'll see. Thanks for watching guys. I am so excited to bring you more videos. I love all of the DMs that you guys send me on my Instagram page. Please make sure that you go there and follow me, keep up with my daily shenanigans, and I'll see you guys next time.